If you had a guess, how many memories do you think you recall each day? Most people answer somewhere between 100 and 10,000. But in reality, we access several billion memories every single day. We've all had that experience of suddenly recalling people or events from the past. A single smell, sight or sound can bring about memories we thought we had forgotten. For example, the smell of freshly baked cookies might instantly conjure up memories of grandma's house from when you were a kid. In fact, the famed physiologist and neurophysiologist Professor Mark Rosenwick has stated that even if we expose the human brain to 10 new pieces of information every second of our lifetime, it still wouldn't even be half full. If there is enough space in our brain to store all the memories we collect throughout the years, then the key to perfect memory is the self-management of this remarkable storage. When the average person takes a memory test, they usually score somewhere between 20 and 60%. Trained memorizers, in contrast, score between 95 to 100% accuracy. So what's the difference between the average person and the professional memorizers? Well, you remember information in two main ways, as words using your verbal memory and pictures using your visual memory. And the secret is that trained memorizers use their visual memory because it is extremely powerful compared to your verbal. Let's test the difference between the two. I will give you a list of 10 words and we'll see how many you remember at the end. Here we go. Alligator Chair Bottle Guitar Lipstick Tire School Keyboard Cable grass. Now pause the video and write down on a piece of paper or a notepad as many of the words as you can remember. The average person remembers anywhere from 5 to 7 words. There is a limit of how many words we can remember in our short term memory. Now let's see the difference of how many words you can remember by using your visual memory. I will give you a word and then explain a short picture and a story for it. While I do that, Vividly imagine in your head the pictures as I describe them. Here we go. Door. Imagine a huge door made of steel. It's so huge and heavy and there is a sign on it that says keep out. Bear. The door suddenly opens. There is a big brown bear wearing a black suit and the bear starts to roar at you. Piano. As the bear roars, a piano falls down from the sky and crashes on the bear's head. While it crashes, it makes a weird sound as the strings break. Secretary As the piano crashes, one of its white keys flies out and hits the bear's secretary. She starts to rage as she is extremely pissed off. Watermelon In her rage, the secretary picks up a green juicy watermelon from her table and throws it out of the window. The watermelon starts to scream as it falls down from the building. Chicken The watermelon falls on a big yellow chicken and splits in half. The yellow chicken gets soaked from the watermelon juice and its feathers turn pink as they get soaked in the juice. Streetlight The chicken flaps its wings and tries to fly to get rid of the watermelon juice. And as it picks up speed, it hits directly into a streetlight. The street light starts to fall and make buzzing sounds as it trembles down. Barbie dolls As the street light falls, it plummets down into a box of Barbie dolls. They are pink and have blonde hair. They start to fly everywhere, singing in the song I'm a Barbie doll. Pen One of the Barbie dolls jumps on a pen and starts to ride it as a rocket. The pen leaves a blue ink trailing behind as it flies into the sky. Samurai The pen runs out of fuel, falls straight down and jams into the ground. A Japanese samurai with full armor picks it up and starts to swing it like a sword. School Bell rings, the samurai stops playing with his sword and runs toward a big building. It turns out that the building is a school, elementary school, with white walls and big windows. White kid A white kid comes into the school and says, who is weirder now, pulls out a gun and starts to shoot up the school. Ok, pause the video again and write down how many words you are able to recall using your visual memory. 
The secret is to recreate a picture in your mind of each image in the story. Can you see the difference? And also I give you 12 words instead of 10. The average person is able to remember all 12 words, usually minimum being 10. Imagine how nice it would be to never worry about forgetting your shopping list again. With the link system, this will be a no-brainer. The link system creates associations in the mind that link individual items in the list in such a way that makes them easier to recall. But what if you don't want to make up a whole story? Or you don't need to remember a list of items? Well, then you want to use the memory palace. Imagine there is a blue doormat in front of the door with a drawing of a white cat on it. In the middle of the door, there is a red doorknob shaped like a dragon. Once you enter the room, you find a coat hanger with eight packs on your right hand side. So if you need to remember to get a vaccine from the pharmacy, pick up your system from the airport and get your shirts from the cleaners. You could imagine something like this. The white cat on the doormat is being injected with the vaccine. You see the red dragon spread its wings and welcome your sister into the house. Inside the house, you see your freshly pressed shirts hanging from the coat hanger by the door. Once you've furnished the room, take multiple mind box in order to cement the images in your memory. You could also remember speeches with the memory palace. You can mentally walk the street where you live and use the signs, other houses, buildings, stores as places to put specific parts of your speech that will act like hooks to continue the speech. Then revise it two or three times by walking down the same path. So when you present it, all you need to do is just mentally walk the path in your mind and you will never get stuck in the middle of a speech again. There are endless ways of how you can use your visual memory. You could easily remember people's names. Let's say someone's name is Jack. Instead of Leonardo DiCaprio as Jack in the Titanic, imagine the person that you are talking to in the water while the Titanic sings. You will never forget the person's name again. I personally use the memory palace at the moment because I learned German as my third language and I have so much fun learning the German vocabulary with the visual memory. In my house, there is a whole floor dedicated to German words. I walk around the rooms and each table, cabinet, window, box, etc. is for a single letter. The word hook means skirt, so I imagine The Rock, the actor, with his big muscles, wearing a girly pink skirt and making girly faces and sounds. It's bizarre and now whenever I see the word hook, it reminds me of that picture and I know that hook means skirt. Then I put the image in the place where I keep my German words that starts on the letter R. It may take 5 or 10 more seconds to remember the word, but trust me, the image will be there for months and if you revise it few more times over the course of next few months, it will stay there for years. You can use the memory palace for all kinds of memories, you just need to be creative with the images and make them vivid and bizarre. At first, it will be hard, but as you progress, it will be much faster. Now that you know how your memory works, I know that you won't forget to subscribe to this channel. Anyway, see you next time and thanks for watching.